Hello YouTube, it's the Brick Adjuster here with another episode of Playing with Lego. Today we have a Lego DC Superhero set. This is Batman Classic TV Series Batcave. It's set number 76052 and it has 2,526 pieces. So here we go, enjoy! So here's the main build and this is the classic TV series Batcave and it actually looks a lot better than I thought it was going to be from the pictures. I liked a lot of the detail in the rock work and turned out pretty good. So I'm just going to show kind of like an overview first of everything all together and then I'll split them apart and show some more detail. But we have a lot of mini builds here of just the laboratory and then we got some more mini builds over here little control panel a lie detector we have a garage here with the batmobile motorcycle and a bat copter and we have some more mini builds here in the corner as well and this big control panel a lot of stickers in this set but it's okay some printed pieces as well so let me uh, show you the back. This is how the bat cave looks when you flip it around. Still a lot of detail. It's not like they skimped out on the back. We have a lot of rock detail, part of the bat cave over here. And then on this side, a lot of detail on Wayne Manor. So some tile work here to make the bricks, cool looking windows, and then all the way up. And we even have a little cat there with an antenna. So I'm gonna break up the pieces now and show more detail. So the set is split into three pieces. This is the tallest and biggest piece where we have the Bat Cave here in the bottom and then we have Wayne Manor at the top. The Bat Cave, you got some of these big pieces here but then they add a lot of these cheese slopes, regular slopes just to add more detail in the rock work and looks pretty good. On the side, some more rock work here. And so usually we have the rock work in the dark bluish gray, light bluish gray. This time they use tan, tan and dark tan, which is good. The only drawback, not sure if I like all the studs here and the studs over here, but then I guess it would have been a lot of bricks if you wanted to do all the brick work, all the slopes all the way through. But then I guess you can always modify it yourself. You can add your own slopes if you wanted to add more rock work and on the inside as well. Up here we have some bats, a lot of bats in the bat cave. Some bats on this side as well and another bat over there. Not sure if I like this, how this is all exposed but can't be perfect. And then if you look up here we have the cool Wayne Manor. These are all printed bricks here so not stickers which is very cool these are stickers we got the um, I guess Mr. and Mrs. Wayne and I like how they did the books here these are all tiles that are just on sideways we have the bat phone over here we got what is this Mr. Freeze I think it's Mr. Freeze GCPD Gotham something Gotham City Police Department cool and this is cool we have a little secret button here so when you press the button the door will open up and then we got Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson so that's Batman and Robin and these are their poles that they're gonna slide all the way down and so if you look over here we have Batman over there and Robin as well and so they're standing on these little poles getting ready to slide down so let me show you how it looks I guess I can show you this way 
so it slides all the way down like that and if you want to see it from this hole let me do the same so I'm just gonna push Robin down and so it looks like that very cool I like that feature it reminds me of the Ghostbuster HQ how they have this same twirly pull and so in the back now so if you flip this around I showed this earlier but we have some nice brick build drapes there inside inside the windows on both sides so that's very nice and a lot of these I guess are they nougat nougat colored bricks or tiles I know it's from the town hall modular and even from the quickie mart but whatever this color is I like this color it's pretty cool got some nice leaves there nicely done all right this is the middle piece now and this is the control center we have a sticker here that says keep off atomic pile super high voltage and so I like the sand green little gates here which are nice we got the orange orange and sand green can't remember if that's a, the same colors from the TV show but it's a nice touch we have a lot of machines here with stickers and these can just come off but I won't take them off and same thing on this side very tight squeeze but I guess that's how they designed it and here we have another control panel here the only thing is these things come off quite easily they always keep falling off so that's a little drawback uh, let me stick it back on turning this around this isn't that nice to look at but when you turn it this way they did add some detail on top not sure if I like that that's not that great I like this the detail on top here plus this is all the way around 360 so that's a good touch a lot of detail in the control panel when you look on top there's a little hole Oops, see this thing comes off really easily all right let's look inside this hole there's a little disc in there and here's the third part and I guess this is the garage where the Batmobile will park and the Batcopter up here this is a sticker so if you're not good at putting stickers on this might give you a little bit of trouble but I, I was able to get it on pretty straight I guess it would have been a big printed piece and if you want to part out the set it would not be that great to have a big bat on your printed piece we have a lot of nice rock work here a lot of slopes and cheese slopes on the bottom the instructions had them all crooked here so that's why I just I didn't do that by accident so that's crooked on purpose not sure if I like it or not and again you can see this but that's okay we got some nice sloped uh, entrance and exit out of this garage and yeah this is the third piece it's a mirrored image this is exactly the same as that but I guess you have it this way because the sticker is facing like so here is the classic Batmobile and I think this looks awesome one of the better builds in this set I love the red stripe that they have here looks really sleek these are printed little circular tiles with the bat symbol on it which is a nice touch inside we got some detail we got the bat phone we got a little siren at top and then um, you can lift the trunk up so there's some storage space over there these are cool you can angle the um, slopes any way you want so just have it a 45 degree angle and we got some stud shooting missiles up here in the front so it's a nice looking little Batmobile what does this say detect the scope cool detect the scope and that's that here is the Batcopter the classic Batcopter and again a very nice build we got the propeller at the top we have a propeller on the side I like this piece in red usually it's in black and this is printed the shadow of Batman printed on this bulb over here we got where you can sit Batman and we got some flick fire missiles which aren't anyone's favorite but this is the classic Batcopter a nice little build here and here we have a mini little Batcycle and it looks very nice 
We have a little passenger seat for Robin so Batman and Robin can ride together. In the back we have a little spare tire and what else? Nothing much. We have a little wing here to make it like a bat wing. And this is the bat cycle. And here are all the other little mini builds that I showed earlier. So we get a lie detector over here, true or false, which is cool. And we got a little recording tape there, a bunch of Bunsen beakers, a magnifying glass, and a little drawer cupboard there with a chair. So nice little laboratory here. The first minifigure we have is Batman. I love this classic Batman look. Great looking torso with the classic Batman costume. Plus the cowl is different. We have some white or light blue, I think it's white, little streaks there above his eyebrows and on his nose. Um, great looking minifigure. We got the dark blue boots and underwear. This is how Batman looks when you take off his cowl. He has that gritting teeth look and mean stare. And he has an alternate face where he is just smirking. Nothing special about Batman's back torso printing, just his yellow belt. Next up we have Robin! A cool looking Robin. He has the green underwear, he has the double printing on the arms so it gives him short sleeves. Plus he has the green boots. Robin comes with an alternate face where he is a bit shocked or surprised. And his back torso printing isn't too special, just his belt. Next up we have Bruce Wayne, a great looking minifigure here. I love his torso with the blazer and he has a scarf underneath his shirt. Looks really posh. He does have an alternate face where he is just looking straight ahead. But no back torso printing, just looking ordinary. Bit of a crease there. And here's Dick Grayson, a bit of a boring minifigure. The shirt is just red, but the collars are coming out which are kind of cool. And from behind, nothing special at all. Dick Grayson also has an alternate face where he is just staring straight. And here we have Alfred Pennyworth, a very nice minifigure. Love the head printing there, great white mustache and the glasses are a nice touch. The suit, it's okay. He does have an alternate face which doesn't look that different. His mouth is just a bit more closed less happy. Now here's a great minifigure. We have the Joker. I love this Joker. Love the pink outfit there. We got the striped pants. We got the cool bow tie and the, it's a tuxedo. I'm pretty sure it's a tuxedo, a pink tuxedo. We have the white face there and if you can look really closely you can see his mustache is painted white as well. The same as in the TV show. Nice hair, great looking expression where he's whistling. He does have an alternate face with the classic Joker smile. And here we have the classic Catwoman. I love this minifigure as well. She has a cool hair piece, which is similar to the Tiger Lady from the CMFs. We have a great looking torso there with a necklace. Plus we got the masquerade mask. Catwoman's alternate face is without the mask, so you can see her true identity. Plus she has a little smirk. And from behind, you can see how her hair piece kind of flips up, which is a nice little detail there. Plus you can see her waist. Next up is the Riddler with the question mark on his torso. He has that, is that violet? A violet or light purple mask and belt and hands. Kind of a boring minifigure though. Here is the Riddler's alternate face where he looks a little irked. And he does have some back torso printing with another question mark. And the last minifigure we have is the penguin with his cute little violet hat. He has the short legs, a little tuxedo, and an umbrella. My favorite part of the set would have to be the classic Batmobile. Love the design of this old classic car. Looks really nice. Plus I love Wayne Manor up here. Great looking vignette with a lot of features. Like how this can secretly open up so it reveals the sliding poles. Plus I love the sliding poles where Batman and Robin can slide or yeah slide all the way down. And my favorite minifigure would have to be the Joker. Great looking design here. If I were to rate this set, I would say it was display worthy. So this concludes this episode of Playing With Lego. This is the Brick Adjuster signing off. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in another video. Bye.